How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today we're going to be checking out two of the best VPNs if you'd like to get a Saudi Arabian uh, IP address. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in either of these VPNs, be it CyberGhost or private internet access, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below. So feel free to take advantage of those while they last. You'll also find full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs with regards to their privacy policies, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. So being unable to access Saudi Arabian websites and services from abroad, it can be super frustrating for locals. Sites like Saudi TV One and OSN block visitors that aren't in Saudi Arabia by actively checking IP addresses. If you're out of the country, then you can get a Saudi Arabia IP address by using a VPN with servers in Saudi Arabia. Now, there aren't too many VPNs with uh, Saudi Arabian IP addresses, and some that do are not exactly some of the best VPNs. So I went ahead and picked the two best VPNs if you'd like to get a Saudi Arabian IP address. Now, several websites and services in Saudi Arabia block visitors from outside locations due to licensing agreements, copyright, and fraud protection measures. This includes news channels, streaming sites, and financial services. You might even be denied access to your account with a proper username and password. Now, if you're not in Saudi Arabia for some reason, then a VPN will let you access Saudi Arabian sites from any location. When you connect to a Saudi Arabian server, a VPN will replace your actual IP address with a Saudi Arabian one. This tricks websites into thinking that you're there. Additionally, a VPN keeps you anonymous and protects your personal data thanks to its no logs policy and military grade encryption. It means you can safely access websites without the threat of hackers and other prying eyes. So how do you get a Saudi Arabian IP address? Obviously, once you've installed one of these VPNs, um, I went ahead and just demonstrated. I also want to hide my own location. So I went ahead and connected to the Albanian server and then disconnected, but I uh, obviously got an Albanian IP address, which shows here. Uh, and whether you're on CyberGhost or private internet access, all you need to do is head to locations, let's say, with uh, Saudi, with private internet access, excuse me, and look up Saudi. So there we go. You have a Saudi Arabian server right here. And it's the same with CyberGhost. So you want to go to locations. We're going to go ahead and use CyberGhost. It's what I prefer, uh, honestly. Uh, me personally, it's just my personal uh, preference, simply because CyberGhost is actually more uh, reliable when it comes to unblocking streaming services. If you're looking to unblock US Netflix or other streaming services, uh, it works great. So all you need to do now is just SA and Saudi Arabia should pop up right away. And uh, let's just go ahead and pick it. And once you've picked it, just hit the on button. And um, let's go ahead and bring this screen right here. And now that I'm connected, all we need to do is just I'll bring it over here and refresh. We should if that works, we should be able, there we go. So now we have a Saudi Arabian uh, IP address. It really is as simple as that. It doesn't get any easier than that. So uh, yeah, again, uh, these both of these VPNs are great VPNs overall. I would personally pick CyberGhost over private internet access simply because it is able to unblock uh, quite a few streaming services from various regions. So I do like that about uh, CyberGhost. Besides that, you have over 7,000 servers in 91 countries with uh, CyberGhost. So it is a great option uh, for those that are looking for a whole variety of countries. Whereas private internet access has, uh, well, allegedly 29,000 servers, but some reports I've seen, um, it, they say that they do have about 11,000 servers in uh, 77 countries. So I'm not exactly sure. PIA themselves, they don't exactly disclose the amount of servers they have. Uh, but overall, it is a pretty good VPN, though, if you're looking for a VPN that is uh, more reliable when it comes to unblocking streaming services, then definitely go with CyberGhost. Um, CyberGhost is also very easy to use. You have a kill switch, which will block your internet traffic automatically when experiencing internet connectivity issues so that it prevents leaks. Uh, and you've got simple, very simple and uh, bare bones kind of features here, including exceptions and app rules. App rules will make CyberGhost launch and connect to a VPN server automatically when you open a selected application right here. And uh, exceptions will choose the websites you don't want to pass through the VPN uh, tunnel. So this is kind of 
half a split tunneling feature. If you're looking for a full split tunneling feature and just more features overall, you will find them with private internet access. Uh, as you can tell, we have protocol options right here, including WireGuard. And you do, by the way, have protocol options. I forgot to actually showcase that. I use the automatic uh, selection uh, for CyberGhost. It seems to be uh, working the best for CyberGhost. Uh, though IKEV2 seems to be the most reliable uh, protocol. If you want to stick with one protocol, WireGuard may not work on all of the servers, but WireGuard is the fastest one uh, and it will work on the popular servers, but uh, more obscure servers or um, just countries that may be uh, operated by virtual servers may not work with WireGuard. So yeah, keep that in mind. So with the settings here, you have plenty of options, some DNS and port forwarding, custom DNS options. With privacy, you've got a kill switch, an advanced kill switch, uh, dedicated IP options. Obviously, that'll be paid in both CyberGhost and um, private internet access, some automation options, split tunneling, which will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not, multi-hop, which is pretty much running your uh, servers or running your connection, excuse me, through two servers rather than one for extra security. So plenty of options with private internet access, making it a great option for people that are interested in something that may not be as straightforward as CyberGhost and would like some extra options here and there. So uh, obviously both of these VPNs, by the way, offer a 30-day uh, money-back guarantee. Actually, private internet access offers a 30-day money-back guarantee on their plans. Meanwhile, CyberGhost offers a 45-day money-back guarantee, both of which have live chat support to help you out. Uh, so no worries there. And again, if you guys are interested in learning more about these VPNs, you'll find links to reviews down below as well as links to special deals and discounts. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.